The group claiming responsibility for the attack tonight. They're called Al Shabaab. They are linked to Al Qaeda. And this evening, U.S. authorities say they have recruited Americans before. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross working that part of the story tonight, and he's with us right here. Brian, good evening. Good evening, David. Indeed, no terror group has been more successful in recruiting Americans to its ranks than Al Shabaab, even as it's carried out a series of increasingly brutal attacks. U.S. officials estimate that as many as 50 Americans have traveled to training camps in Somalia and signed on as recruits to Al Shabaab over the last six years. It's an extremely deadly organization, very well trained, and it's one of the only Al Qaeda affiliates which actually has actively recruited here in the United States. Just last month, Al Shabaab posted this online recruiting video with three young men it said were from Minneapolis and later died as martyrs. If you guys only knew how much fun we have over here, this is the real Disneyland. You need to come here and join us. Another American, Omar Hamami of Daphne, Alabama, rose to a leadership position at Al Shabaab until he was reportedly killed by rivals in the group earlier this month. One of the things that we, we, we seek for in this life of ours is to die as a martyr. Hamami and other Al-Shabaab leaders have vowed to hit U.S. targets, and officials worry the American recruits still there could return home with that in mind. This is uh, something scary. I mean, if you think about individuals who went and fought in uh, uh, a place like Somalia, and when they come back home, uh, there is nothing good that can come out of this. What we see today in Kenya can be easily copied here in the United States. The FBI has brought criminal cases against some of the Americans who went to Somalia and came back to the U.S., but to date the FBI and other law enforcement officials say they have no indication that al-Shabaab has any plans or indeed even the capacity to attack here in the U.S. And of course, Brian, what we don't know is if any of these recruits played any role in this plot. That's right, and we won't know it probably until the siege is over.